Hello, and welcome once again to the Dental Marketing Mastery Series. This podcast is brought to you by dentalwebcontent.com and New Patients Incorporated. I'm Howie Horrocks, the founder of New Patients Incorporated. Along with me once again is my friend and partner and the president of New Patients Incorporated, Mark Dilatush. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to our podcast. And uh, I have a very happy partner and friend out there in chilly Philly land. How you doing, Mark? Hey, Howie. I'm doing fine, thanks. We are on a um, we're on a, a two week warm a two week warming trend here in the Philadelphia area it has nothing to do with the weather. Has, oh yes, it has everything to do with oh you know all the hype, all the talk, all the smack. <laughs> up the Super Bowl. So, yeah. Um. All right. So That's what fun. are we doing today? We're doing, um, we were going to update our audience on some things, some kind of really cool things. Yeah. When you do, you know, 80 some podcasts and you do one of these a week and you remember, you know, seven months ago, you brought up a subject and with everything marketing, it is, and, and honestly with everything in dentistry too, change is constant right? Yep. You know, if you're not changing, if you're not evolving, if you're not moving, if, if, if you don't know what works and what doesn't work, you're basically dead um, in dentistry and in marketing. And so periodically, you're going to get these update podcasts from us. And they're not always on one subject or they may have five subjects in them. But our goal with these update podcasts is to... Um, is to make sure that our uh, our listeners who have been with us all this time um, have the newest, latest, greatest information. We also share the information on our Facebook um, marketing. There's a, a it's a closed group. It's by invitation. You can just log on and Dental yeah. Masteries Marketing. Yeah, yeah. You can ask to be a member, and that's the Dental Marketing Mastery Facebook group. And then this is, that's where we continue these conversations. So let's get into the update. There, there's, there's really four main updates to this podcast. One of them is about local med connect. One of them is about, um, is about a new analogy that I had for MPI command, because the, when we did, we did a podcast about Google AdWords, I think probably a month or so ago. And that podcast generated more questions than like all the other podcasts <laughs> combined. So yeah. obviously there was, uh, there were, it, obviously I didn't do a good enough job at, at creating an analogy for, for, for how to manage a, a Google AdWord campaign. So um, there's also emergencies. We're seeing emergency. When I, when we say emergencies, I mean emergency patients. Um, or are we seeing a surge in emergencies? So I want to go through that. And then we have a new call tracking platform that I want to go through briefly um, just to let everyone know our customers and then our non-customers in, in case they're, they're interested in, in becoming one. So, all right, let's go first and foremost, local med connect. We are the exclusive distributors. NPI is the exclusive distributor of local med connect in Canada, New York, and Arizona. And part of that, is uh, obviously is Canada, <laughs> and um, for our Canadian listeners, um, and for and, and for our U.S. listeners, it may, it may interest the, the U.S. listeners to learn that Canada has many provinces, and um, the federal government's rules and regulations don't necessarily uh, supersede the province's laws. So each province has their own laws on healthcare information. In this country, we have HIPAA. In Canada, you have a province has their own rules and regulations as it pertains to healthcare information. And two of those provinces, Ontario and Alberta, will not allow um, healthcare data to cross the border. So um, it's going to be interesting how we get around that in those two provinces in Canada with local MedConnect. The other provinces in Canada are just fine. <laughs> so if you're a Canadian dentist and you're listening to this and you're like, oh man, I would, you know, I really like to have online scheduling. 
when are you bringing it to Canada? <laughs> Let's say you're on in Ontario, you're fine. <laughs> you're absolutely fine. Um, you know, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, um, you know, they're, you're, you're fine. BC. BC, you're fine. Right. It's just those, um, those two provinces that we can't quite work around yet. And I am going to be in touch with their, um, I actually got the phone number for the CEO of the, of the dental something in the province. Nice guy. I'll call him this week and see if I can wrangle that into the other provinces. So that's your local med connect, um, update. <laughs> uh, we also have, and you'll be, some of you may be interested in hearing, um, you know, I get the question, well, can't you, you know, can't you place an order for me if I'm in Missouri? Well, of course we can. So if you're interested in local med connect, you still call new patients Inc. We're just this, you know, the exclusive distributors in those three areas. I got that question yesterday. Uh, well, from, and that's a good one. It's, you know, we're, we're the exclusive, right. But, but in, in only certain areas, but we're still distributors in all the other areas too, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can, yeah, you can, you can place an order through us and yes, absolutely. 100%. Got the question actually Sunday while the game was going on. Wow. Yeah, I know via email. It's like, what's wrong with you, pal? He's in New Jersey too. He wasn't even watching the game. Anyway, um, okay, that's the local Med Connect update. The NPI command analogy that I came up with, uh, I, we did a podcast about PPC campaigns, about our artificial intelligence platform. Um, and if you're a serious Google AdWords um, customer and you're doing it yourself, you're probably wasting at least half your money. Now, that prompted all kinds of questions about Google AdWords, which got me to believe that there's lots of dentists out there doing their own Google AdWords campaigns and lots of dentists who have no clue uh, how to do it right. Okay, so no, no, I'm not picking on you. That's, that's not the intent for this podcast. I'm not picking on you. I'm just saying that if you're asking me questions about bad click sources, what's that? What's a bad click source? If you're asking me those questions and you're spending any money on Google AdWords, I'm telling you, you don't know what you're doing and you're wasting money. Okay. Is so, it, it, Mark, isn't it something like, you know, that there's just, I mean, you're not criticizing anybody. It's just, there are limits to what a human can do, right? Oh, it, well, it's keeping okay. track of all of this stuff. Okay, so, so right. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning so that I don't insult anyone. All right, <laughs> that's not my intent. My intent is not to insult anybody, but I do want to get the answer to your question. I'm going to try to do it without insulting you, right? So imagine that you're starting a Google AdWord campaign and with almost every dental subject, there are two, 3,000 different um, phrases, words that the users can type in that are trying to get to your service. They're trying to find what you do. It's not five, it's 2,000. Okay, so you put in those 2,000 possibilities into your AdWord campaign, and then you fund it. So here you go. Here's, here's a couple grand. Let's see how long that lasts, right? So now, what I want you to do is in your head, I want you to imagine that those 2,000 phrases are actually light switches, you know, the on, off, up, down light switches that you have in your home, 2,000 of them. And they're all currently turned on and you're paying, <laughs> you're paying money, okay, to have all 2,000 of them turned on. Now we know for sure, a fact, it's not even refutable fact, that all 2,000 of those light switches are not going to provide good clicks that are going to convert into new patients. We know that. actually. We know that 95% of those 2,000 you're going to find to be useless. And 
costing you a boatload of money. Okay. But until you get them open, until you put those light switches on your wall and you turn them all on and you get data in, you, you're only guessing which ones are good and which ones are bad. Right? Okay. So as your data comes in and you look at it and go, wow, look at those clicks. None of them ended up in a call. This must be a bad click source. So you walk over to the wall, you find the switch, and you turn it off. By turning that switch off, you stop spending money into that switch, and you allocate money into what could be a good switch that's bringing you good calls and good clicks, okay? Now, do that for 2,000 search, search phrases, you can. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so th that's what I meant by you're wasting money, right? Like, or if you're asking me the question, why should I turn off? Why should I turn off a bad click, you know, click source? Then I know you don't know what you're looking at. Because that's the whole idea behind PPC is to systematically bring in the data, analyze it, and turn off the bad clicks and reallocate your money towards the good ones. So my new analogy for NPI command is a wall with 2,000 light switches. <laughs> if I can burn that into everybody's brain, <clears throat> everybody understands that Google PPC AdWords is a wall with 2,000 light switches. Now you understand what the manager's job is. Their job is to go around and turn them off. The ones that don't work, turn them off, turn them off, turn them off, turn them off. So the juice, your money is going to the good ones. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a good analogy. Good. We're going we're gonna to take a break here. Okay, Mark. And then uh, we'll be right back uh, with some more updates. You got it. So don't go anywhere. Hey, Mark, how would our audience find out about getting more good reviews? Well, uh, first step is to understand it. There's uh, minefields in the dental business right now. So let me give you the four keys. One has to be simple for your staff. They can actually call in sick and it'll still work. Two, it has to be ridiculously simple for your patients to leave Google reviews. Three, it has to be able to separate out the not so good reviews from the great reviews and only send the great reviewers over to your Google, Facebook, or Yelp. And four, and this is probably the most important, only send reviews to platforms where your reviews cannot be taken away. If anybody has any questions about this, it's called NPI Crusader. You can just send Howie and I an email or actually you can log on to newpatientsinc.com and you can schedule your very own appointment to see it in an online meeting that usually takes 15 to 20 minutes. So most people do it over a lunchtime. Well, hello. Welcome back. We're uh, in the middle of uh, an update podcast. <clears throat> We're in day one. Come day in. one of the two weeks leading up to the Super Bowl. That's where we are. <laughs> I knew you'd had to get I know, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing a different, Sal is in my office here with me in New Jersey, and I'm wearing a different Eagles shirt every day between now <laughs> and then. Yeah. Oh, boy. They won't stink either. I have lots of them. So. I think I think uh, I would call that insufferable. Your insufferable period is coming yes, up. That's, that's right. Okay. It's coming up. We only get one every, what, 13, 14 years. So yeah. <laughs> deal with it. Um, okay. So we are uh, updating. And the next one I promised was emergencies. Yeah. We did a podcast a while ago. And I think it was titled Emergencies. Yuck. Right, because there's dentists out there who don't like emergencies for. Oh, they, oh, they hate them. They mess up the schedule. And, Those terrible oh. patients who interrupt their schedule by being right. patients. Right. So, yeah. so you and I obviously have a different take on that. Our our take is embrace the emergency patient. Um, yeah. They are your future implants. They are your future hell dental supported implants they're your future almost everything also if they're in pain they're very motivated patients too yeah yeah all of all of a sudden that whole treatment plan consult goes a hell of a lot better doesn't it right <laughs> yeah. when, when they're in pain and, and and the question you know about same day dentistry um and sedation i mean all those questions become 
much more easy to get a yes. So let me tell you why we're giving you an update on emergencies because I got to say probably, wow, when did I write the article? I wrote an article and in some trade journal somewhere, I think back in, I know I wrote one in 08 and then I wrote one again in I think 2012, 2013 where the impact of the recession on dentistry in, o, in 08, I know I, I wrote that and I said, here's what's going to happen. Get your money off the table with niches, pour it all into family dentistry, pour it all into the staples. I mean, we wrote, and Howie, you and I have been on the stage for years during the recession, just pounding yeah. the point home. Stop being a prosthodontist. <laughs> be something else because, <laughs> you know, you're just going to become a statistic. So. Uh, you know, we helped all those practices through the, the bad years, right? Well, in about, I guess about three or four years ago, I wrote another piece about, all right, we're six, seven years into this recession. Now what? And and in it were statistics, you know. So if, if during the recession people were ignoring their mouth and if during the recession your recare was, you know, a little less compliant and if during the recession dot, 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 What's going to happen to those otherwise healthy mouths? Mm -hmm. How long will it take How before they start to fall take? apart? Exactly. How long will it take? And I think our answer is, based on what we see in the data, our answer is we're living right now through an upswing in emergencies. Yeah. Okay. Now, there's a couple of other things in here that are in play that may be why we are seeing the upswing. All right. One of them is macroeconomics. I mean, come on, if dentistry shed, whatever, $20 billion for five or six years straight after the recession, and is just now rebounding, somebody wasn't getting dentistry done. Yep. Okay. So lots of somebodies. Lots of somebodies weren't getting dentistry done. Okay. Otherwise, dentistry wouldn't have declined from a financial standpoint, right? Okay. So we don't know who they are. We just know it happened. So now you fast forward through all those years, and well, sooner or later, these sooner or later, this has to turn into an increased number of emergencies. It just has to, right? Well. That's what we're seeing it from a macroeconomic st uh, macro, um, economic standpoint. But let me tell you, there's two other things that we're seeing. We have many more clients on NPI command, the AdWord um, platform, the artificial intelligence platform that are selecting to promote for emergency patients. Okay. So emergency patients, I guess, are going to the internet. In other words, it's, that's a perfect example of a, a high-volume passive medium. In your market, there are, right now, I guarantee you, there's 200 people who, are in, who have a toothache. Has to be, right? I don't care where you are. You could be in Montana. I bet you there's 50 people with a toothache. And they are using their phones or their computers to find dental services if they don't already have a dentist, right? Right. And um, the customers in those markets who are, who have active AdWord campaigns are being selected. So macroeconomics, we know that more emergency patients are going to be seeking care. Now, how do you get them? first place you would go with PPC is AdWords and put your sponsored ad up on that search screen. Fine. Now, where do they go and what do they do when they click that ad? It goes to a landing page, but what's on that landing page? For most of these people who are seeing this increase, it's the local MedConnect widget. Cause you, can you imagine being an emergency patient since Saturday night? You know there's no dentist anywhere that's open. You want to get seen as, right, you, you want to get seen as soon as possible. I mean, you may even go to the emergency room to get some meds if you, if you don't have your own dentist, right? When you go from that ad, that sponsored ad, to that landing page, it talks about emergency treatment, and there's a button there that says, 
make schedule convenient schedule online now exclamation point you're hitting that button yeah okay you're not yeah. waiting until monday morning at nine o'clock when everybody gets in so you can make a call you're hitting that button and yeah. that's exactly <laughs> what we're seeing okay the emergency patients who are flowing through this platform i mean there's a lot of them okay so if if you're a practice that's willing to see new pa uh, new patients as emergencies, and if you have a practice where maybe you can do same day dentistry, or if you're a practice that does sedation, or if you're a practice that is flexible in its team, being able to fit people in and get them done during the day, you may be there may be a really good opportunity for you here. Yeah, okay. excellent opportunity. It's an excellent so so. All that stuff, more emergency patients and more ways to get to them, more ways to get them scheduled is fueling um, that update. Yeah. The last update is the new call platform that we're, we're switching every, as, as you know, I'm sure you've listened to our podcasts or if you have listened to our podcasts in the past, Howie and I have railed on and on and on like one of those toucans in a jungle, right? Just saying the same freaking noise all the time <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. We keep railing about the importance of the dentist listening to their staff, handling phone calls, getting them trained. And you've also heard us talk about actually answering the phone. Okay. So I think we were promoting a uh, call tracking uh, back w before anybody had ever heard of it. Yeah. We started a fad obviously. <laughs> so, okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, we found a better platform to move all those calls and all those phone numbers to. Um, and it's really, um, the main reason is it's better, it'll be cheaper and it'll be faster and it will be, um, it will allow a customer or a client to be able to see not one aspect of their campaign, but even a client that has a multifaceted, let's say they have a website, SEO, they have uh, six different landing pages for their AdWord campaign, and they have two mail campaigns that are concurrent but separate, and they are whatever. Let's say they're doing radio or television or Facebook or whatever the hell else they're doing. All of the sources of all of that will come through this platform in real time and you won't really have to sort it. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just a, an easier, faster, nicer, more robust way to have all the information you need at, a, at your fingertips so that when Howie and I talk to you on a podcast and say, go listen to your phone calls, you can just bookmark it as long as you have credentials to get in. It'll just go right in and show you the last five phone calls you missed or the last two phone calls that were handled. And um, it'll just be a lot better and a lot faster and a lot more robust for all of our uh, all of our clients. It's costing us a little bit more, but we're leaving the the price the same, uh, you know, yeah. for our customers. So anyway, I was like, yeah, no, it, it it's if you are a customer and you're listening to this, and um, you're going to see that change, that switch over here happen pretty quick, probably in the next thirty to ninety days. Um, your campaign manager will send you out the um the link and the credentials for it in an email but anyway i just want to let everybody know that's here it's um and it'll be uh it'll be rolled over into our customers here pretty quick all right that's my four is that our four that's four updates right that's yeah, pretty good yeah. for, for i think, we did. Minutes, we I think we've got everybody updated now well yeah for today for today, there'll be more. Yeah, well. <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody for listening. We appreciate your audience ship. Is that how you say it? Audience uh, participation. You just made up a word again, like headachey. I know. Anyway, we'll see you again next time. Bye now. We hope you've enjoyed our podcast today. You can find more podcasts on our YouTube channel, on Stitcher, and iTunes. Also on our websites, dentalwebcontent.com and newpatientsinc.com.